Good morning, everybody. I thought I would pop on and see what's up. Just checking in on everyone. I don't want anybody to think I was skipping town again because it's been a minute. I've just, it's just been all the things. I finally got my car in the shop since they tried to steal it to get repaired. And on a really good note, Cecil, the beagle, is doing a lot better. He's back to going outside again, so that's awesome. I have on my Savage, Classy, Bougie, Ratchet t-shirt. It's kind of how I'm feeling. Feeling a little spicy, so. I was like, I got the dogs outside, fed them their breakfast. Got my face all washed, put my face on so I didn't come on here and scare anybody because I was looking real wild these last couple of videos. So I was like, maybe try to look more human and not, I don't even know what that was. My hair is still ratchet, but can't have everything, right? So what's been up, guys? Got me a nice hot cup of coffee. Oh my gosh, just tastes like liquid gold. Still having creamer issues. I was telling you guys in the last video, or one of the last couple ones, you know, can't find any of the creamers. I'm not even going to keep rehashing it. But then I found that Bridgerton, it's the International Delight, which I'm not really a big fan of International Delight. I'm a coffee maker. Oh, we know it. Um, even emailed Coffee Mate, they didn't even reach out to your girl. And I'm like, I don't know about all that because I've been getting them a lot of coin. Anywho, so I kind of got hooked on the English toffee of the International Delight Bridgerton little trios. And I was like, that's been getting me through because it's like, there's nothing. I don't like that pink frosting one. Sorry, Maddie. I know you love it. Um, there's just no varieties out there. And now I see Coffee Maid has a waffle, Eggo waffle maple syrup flavor. I'm like, that sounds disgusting. Stick with the ones that are good that we love and just produce them in massive quantities. So that I can hoard them. I'm going to be a creamer hoarder. That's a new thing. Oh well. So anyways, now somebody got hip to the English toffee. And now I go and that one is gone. Oh my god, I'm telling you. I get such anxiety walking into whatever store I'm at. And heading to the dairy to check for the creamers. Because I'm like, what am I going to be dealing with today. Empty shelves are just every gross flavor there is and no good flavor. Or am I going to get lucky? I, I don't know. Is this kind of like how the dating scene is for those of you who are single? I couldn't imagine. So yeah, none of this English toffee, the Bridgerton English toffee. So I was like, what, what am I to do? I stood there and I stared at him for probably like 10 minutes. I'm like, nothing's going to change, Jody. So just decide what you're getting and get to getting and go. So I ended up getting the International Delights, the Southern Butter Pecan. That's what I have in here. It's pretty good. It's nothing to write home about, so let's not get too excited, but it's okay. It's better than, you know, the boring flavors they have out there. And I just don't know what happened to all the good flavors. Like, they need to pull all those Eggo waffle maple syrup ones right off the shelf and fill them with something we want. I'm sorry for any of you that like the Eggo waffle maple syrup. It just seems weird to me. This coffee is truly hitting a spot. So, you guys know I rambled about creamer now for 15 solid minutes. But that's me. I, I always got to tell my creamer story. It's Saturday. I don't know what I'm going to do today. I think I'm just going to stay put. I just feel like chilling. 
I think after everything that's been going on, I deserve to chill a little bit. I'm going to do a little Timu haul. Because Lord knows I have tons of it stockpiled. I'm like, let me get to showing some of this stuff. And then coming up, I think I'm going to still do another video this weekend. Yeah, two in a short time frame. I know, it's crazy. And we're going to look at all my makeup, like my Timu makeup. I was just going to do my Timu makeup, and I'm like, let's just do makeup in general. Um, yeah, so we're going to have that coming up, so that's exciting. Um, I don't know. There's so many things I was going to tell you guys. I feel like I need to write the list like I've talked about in a video. First of all, I'm so sorry if you're new here. Thank you for stopping by and spending a little time with us. We have a great time here. So hit the like button. Definitely hit the subscribe button because you want to be a part of all of this. We have a great time on my channel. We do a lot of chitter chatter. We do hauls and as Jackie would say, hauls, hauls, hauls. I love that, but I don't want her to think I'm trying to steal it from her. But yeah, you never know where you find the goodies. So could be Timu, could be the thrift store. Could be Walmart. Who knows? Could be something the neighbor got you. I'm going to show it to you. Whatever I got. Get it while it's hot. So, yeah. I guess let's get into this Timo haul. I'm sitting on this super weird angle because you see the laser beams are like coming in like from my blinds. And I put the kitchen light on so that there was light. So, yeah. I'm going to start it off with a Bane because this is something that was from the last Timu haul I did and I forgot about it. So here we, my daughter keeps trying to video call me. Um, are you guys ready? This is so cute. Now let me back up a minute because I was in, I got a couple pairs of these from Timu um, and I love them. But then I saw this pair that Maddie got. They're the little, she'll know, and if you guys watch her videos, you'll know, the little orange, like, booty slippers with, like, the real soft fur and the foamy, funky bottom. I love, love, love stuff like that. So as soon as I saw those, I was on her video a while ago. As soon as I saw those, I was like, I need them. Those are so cute, and I love orange. Well, they only make stuff like that for people with baby feet. And we know Maddie's got some baby feet. I don't have baby feet. I got feet like probably that big, like a damn Sasquatch or however you say that. I scrolled and scrolled and scrolled and scrolled. All them cute little booty slippers. And I'll wear them out in the streets. I have no shame to my game. I'm like, those aren't just slippers. I'll be putting them on with some joggers and pff, I'm out the door. Couldn't find any. Even looking in men's. Well, then they're like all manly looking. I want like the cute ones. So finally, lo and behold, I found these and I'm really like them aren't they cute how precious they're super soft this fur see how it's got like the little pattern on there and then like this little kind of sweater deal what does this say it says home i like the thick funky bottom they're so cute you know, I, I like all the funky colors and neon colors, stuff like that. But like I said, unless you've got baby feet, you ain't getting none. I'm like, this is just foobar. That's what it is. So I got these. I don't even know what size these are. I don't even know if they say it. Oh, 44, 45. So normally, like in shoes, I wear... Anywhere from a nine and a half to an 11. Like it really varies depending on the type of shoe. For the most part, I would say I'm a solid 10, 10 and a half. And it's hard to find half sizes. So between a 10 and an 11. 
So I was very excited to get these. I just think they're the cutest things ever. And these are only like seven bucks. Bentley, one of the beagles, has. I've had to put those like way up high on the shelf. I have tons of slippers. He don't mess with none of them, but he thinks those are like a baby for him. So I've caught him three times now trying to tear around the house with one of them. And he'll tear them up too. Normally he doesn't mess with nothing, but I don't know. He's got a thing for slippers. All right, let's delve into this bag. First thing we got is I got this because it was super cheap, and I'm like, you always need stuff like this. It's just a little container deal with yours. I think this was literally less than $2. Oh, nice. Summer down. And it's got where you can put stuff in there or on the top. I have a little area like in my office where I keep like my makeup brushes and all that kind of stuff. So I can use that for like small items. But I'm like, why wouldn't you grab it when it was like less than $2? I don't know. It was like on a lightning deal or something. So I was like, yeah, we needed it. Same thing with this one. This one was like 77 cents. Again, it just has, it's like you always, need, even if like in your closet, like where you keep your medicines or, you know, you always have little crap that it's like, well, what do I do with this? Where am I going to go with that? Well, now we know. All right, I want to save that for them. I have a couple makeup things in here. Oh, I got these just because I love the color of them. And see how, let's take them out. I like the way the tips of these Q-tips were because, of course, I have one of the Q-tip holder things ordered off the Timo. But see, where are we? See how it's kind of like a quilted tap? And I just like the color. I thought the color was cute. I mean, Lord knows I can get a whole giant thing of Q-tips at Dollar Tree, but I was just like, I don't know. I like that they were kind of this quilted deal, and there's a hundred of them in here. And I'll put them in my little Q-tip holder, schmolder thing. I'm sorry about this weird light. It's like, I don't know where to go. I'm pretty soon I'm going to be on the floor and the camera's here and I'll be over there. I have been wanting one of these forever. I don't know why. They were popular like back in the day. And you see, this is what I drink my coffee out of, a travel mug. Oh, it's so good. And I tried, I showed you in the last video, I tried to get me a normal coffee cup. Not like I don't have any of those, because I have a ton of those too. But it just was orange with the lid and the wooden handle. And they messed me up. Timu messed me up. So now I got to send that back. But I wanted to get like a cute coffee cup so that I could put it on my mug warmer. Don't ask me why. I was like enthralled with it's a simple things i'm a very simple person my shirt might say that i'm savage classy bougie and ratchet but i'm it should just say i'm very simple you know this light is driving me crazy we won't talk about it though so it's got a normal plug Plug it in, put your mug of coffee on there, hit the button, and it'll keep your coffee warm. That's why I had switched to the thermal travel mug to put my coffee in, because I was sick of constantly, my coffee was cold. It was driving me crazy. I mean, I don't want it like scalding hot where you can't drink it, but I want to be able to enjoy it without drinking cold and I'm not an iced coffee girl at all once in a great while maybe but generally no 
iced coffee is just like not my shtick. But yeah, I'm very excited about that coffee mug warmer. So we'll see how that goes. What in the world is this? <laughs> I'm so excited over these. I told you, it's the little simple things that just I gravitate towards. So I showed you guys those like noodle bowls we got in a video or two ago. Well, of course, as I'm doing this, of course, I had to run across the cute spoons for them. How adorable are these? Look, and they got little flowers on them. You just like, and you get all the juice on there, and they're like angled, and you get four of them. I, I am so in love with these. I just think these are so cute. Like I can't even take it. I love stuff like that. I just, I don't know. You guys know I'm kind of weird. Uh, da, 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 da. We have another set. Yahoo! Scooby -doo. Do, 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 do. These are a little more plain, but they're still cute. You can even like throw these in your lunch bag or whatever if you take a lunch. Four of them, they're just different colors. You don't have to use them just like for noodles. You can use them for whatever. Eat your cereal, stir your coffee, I don't know, whatever floats your boat. So yeah, apparently I was on a spoon kick. Alright, what in the world? What in the world? I don't even know what this says. Oh my gosh, you guys are going to crack up when you see this. I laughed so hard when I saw this shirt. I had to have it. You guys ready for it? It says, not slim, kind of shady. That is totally me. As you guys know, this would be. A reference to an Eminem song, Slim Shady, but not Slim Shady, because I'm not slim, but I'm kind of shady. I am a fan of this. This is going to be like my new favorite shirt. And it's like a lightweight lawn sleeve t-shirt. A little thicker than a t-shirt, but I wouldn't call it a sweatshirt. It's a really nice material. Let's see what the material is and what size I got it in. I bought it in a 3X because I wanted it to be kind of baggy. And it's 95% polyester and 5% elastane. So it's very... The material is very, very soft and comfortable, and it kind of looks like a sweatshirt, crew neck, but it's thin. Not thin, thin, but not thick like a sweatshirt would be. I just love everything about this shirt. You guys already know how I am with my graphic shirts. I have a full-on addiction to them, and I'm not even ashamed to admit it. I have so many in my cart right now, and I want, like, every single one of them. Ugh. Things are falling. I got a big, giant bag of gloves. You know, like, you always need these gloves for around the house doing stuff. I got them big enough so that my husband can fit them too. Because we had a bunch of gloves and then we ran out and we're like, oh my gosh, we don't have any gloves. Yeah, these were like a couple dollars and 
doesn't say on here how many. But there's a lot. Trust me. There's at least 50 pairs in here. I mean, it's a big honking bag packed full of gloves. Do, 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 do. This is some makeup stuff, so we're going to hold on to that. Ba, 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 da, ba, ba, ba. Oh, apparently I decided to order a ring. And I think I got this because it really pretty much resembles almost identically my wedding ring. It's very close. Except my ring is two bands. It's very pretty. This is all one piece though. This was like 80 cents. I was like, I got to get this just out of principle. It's gorgeous. Very, very pretty. It's a stunner. Where in the world are you going to get a piece of jewelry for less than a dollar? Come on, Timo. Holy cats. All right, let's see more makeup stuff. Oh, apparently I was like doing a little run on some makeup shopping. Ba, 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 da, ba, 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 ba. Oh, I got another ring. That's it, folks. But I do have one more ring. I don't know why all my rings got to look exactly the same. But again, this one was like 70 some cents. Like eight, it's like 80 cents at the most. And they put in these little itty bitty tiny baby bags. Let's see if I can get it out. So again, same thing. This looks pretty close to my actual ring. This one is two pieces. Just the bands are thinner. See, like my actual ring is a little thicker. Let's put her on. Gotta fix it so the, there's how that one looks. It's also very pretty as well. Very nice quality. It's not one of those what do you guys order off here? Mosinite or whatever? I don't even know how to say that. It's not one of those, but I heard those are supposed to be very nice, like very like high quality and whatnot. These are just little costume rings, but they really are very pretty and solid, like good weight to them. I don't know like how fast they'll start to turn or whatever, but... For less than a dollar? Why not? So yeah, the other stuff is some makeup stuff. So we're going to do that like in the next video. So I don't want to show off anything too soon. So I hope everybody has a fantastic weekend. Whatever you may be doing. The sun is out here today. I think this weekend it's actually supposed to be pretty nice here in Wisconsin. So... Like last, I don't know if it, I think it was last week, like last week, Thursday, I think it was, it was 70 degrees here, crazy. And then the next day, then very next morning, we woke up to like an inch of snow, only in Wisconsin, it's craziness. I'm going to wrap it up, um, clean up my little mess here. Um, yeah, I'm going to come back later this weekend and we're going to go through all my makeup stuff, talk about that, show you some new stuff, show you some old stuff, and just show you some of my stuff. 
We'll see what transpires between now and then. But I appreciate every single person that takes the time to watch my videos. I have a lot of ideas I've been thinking about in my little hiatuses here lately. Things I want to do, some giveaways I'm thinking about. I'm trying to grow this channel. So, you know, once I can grow this channel a little bit more, I'll have the opportunity to do more things. And... um but at the end of the day, the people that follow me and watch, really watch the majority of my videos and comment to me, those are who's, who is really important to me. You know, if you're just hopping through, I appreciate that as well. But I like our little core group of people here. Like we have great people. We have a good time. We all watch each other's videos and comment and laugh. And we have so many laughs and good times. And that's what it's all about. So, again, I'm kind of getting off on a tangent. Thank you guys for watching my videos. I love you all, and I will see you very soon with some makeup. Bye!